Hey guys, how's it going? It's um, Volcom here, aka Cod is the World. Today, I just wanted to wanted to make a video of me showing you guys how to get free movies on your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, whichever i device you have. It will work for all. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to get an app. I mean, an app. Sorry. So go to the App Store. And in the App Store, you're going to want to go to the search bar. Okay. Yep. And up in the search bar, and there, you're going to want to type in Download Manager right there, okay? And then click Search. Now, it should bring up these. Maybe it's different for your device. But you just want to search around and scroll around and stuff until you see this one right here. The Download Manager, and it's free. This one, this green one. The Download Manager Lite. Okay, it's free. There's different various ones. This one, they will all work, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure about this one, though. I don't know if that one work. But these ones, these ones are nicer. I think that the downloads are a bit faster. Um, but this one you have to pay for. This one you have to pay for. So, but this one will work just fr just fine, so you want to click that. And in there, up here, it will say free, I think. And you want to click free, and then click install. I have already done it, so I don't need to do that. And when it's finished loading, it will pop up somewhere. The icon will come up somewhere on your iPod or iDevice. You just want to click it. And it should bring up this. There's some kind of browser thing up there, and then you've got browser, downloads, files, and more down there. You want to go up to the search bar, um, and in the search bar, you want to type in Google. Okay, and then click go. We'll bring up Google. And in Google, you want to type in iPod Movie dot info. Alright? Just like that. iPod Movie dot info. And click search. Okay, and it will bring you to the screen, hopefully. And you want to click this one that says iPod, stupid thing, focus, iPod, movie.info, welcome. Alright, you want to click that. And it should bring you to the screen, I think. And so you want to scroll down, and where it says menu, see it says menu right there. Where it says menu, somewhere along this, this this section it will say register you want to click register all right and all you have to do when you register is that all you have to do is make up a username and a password and I think you have to give them your email but that's it just a username pick a password and your email and that's it you're ready to go so it should bring you back to this page or a different page but you want to get back to the page that has this features bar and it says movies and TV shows you want to click movies, um, and it should bring you to this this page right here. Close that. No, no, that's not what I want to do. Shoot. All right, so I'll we'll bring you to this page right here. So iPodMovie.info at the top. You got your search bar right there, and then you got newest added movies these are movies that people have added to this site um, that you can go download you can download any of these movies 100% free there's Valentine's Day oh, movies gay. okay so you want to do an advanced search you want to come up here click search it will bring you to the advanced search you can click you can choose it by rating by order or whatever and then the genre or whatever that word says. And then, oh, crap. Then you got comedy, advanced, you know, all that stuff. All those good movies. 
and then you got your title. You can type in whatever a title of whatever movie you want. Um, I'll just type in an easy one. All right, see there, I typed in Soul Surfer. Let's click go, and then it will bring up um, different movies. It will bring up all the old version movies, or sometimes the movie's not even on the site. Um, yeah, that re that's really sucks. That's the only thing that's a downer about this site is that sometimes the movie's not on there, but there's like a bunch of other movies that you can choose from, but it will just bring up a different options, and you want to pick the one you want. There's only one option, so you want to pick the right one, and it will bring you here. It will give you detail about the movie right there. It will show the release date, it will show the runtime, and the rating. Um, it will give you a poster, a picture, and it will say rate this movie. You don't really have to, you can do that if you want to. And down here are comments that people have left about the movie or, or stuff. And right here, okay, so these are links. See, it says links right there. These are links. Um, these things are people, are things that people, um, it's basically, it, it just basically shows the people who put, who put this movie on the site. There's two different people. Um, and a rebel dog, that's that one. And a rebel dog, dog is really good. He does a lot of movies. Um, this one, okay, so these numbers right here, those are uh, ratings of the quality. See, we got the video quality rating and the audio. You want to pick the one that has the best, and this one's excellent. It's 10 out of 10. So you want to click the link for that, for that rating. That's this one. So once you click that, it will bring you um, down here. And once you find this, wait, and once you scroll down to this, that says click here to load your link. You want to click that. Oops, sorry. No, focus. Stupid thing. All right. And then it will bring you to Mega Upload. Um, once it loads. Okay. So loading oops okay so right there there's that's the premium download the premium download um you have to pay for you guys might have you might might have bought this but I don't have that so I'm right here this is a countdown for the regular download that's what I'm gonna wait for and to make sure you're downloading the right thing you want to scroll over to where it says file name and and you want to make sure it says the title of your movie right there next to file name. And if it does, then you're downloading the right thing. I just want to go see if it's down, counting down. One more second. See, now my regular download is ready. You want to click regular download. And then this will pop up. You want to click download link. And then down here, in your toolbar, whatever, see you're in browser right now, you want to click downloads. And see right there, Soul Surfer is now downloading to your iPod. Um, uh, and um, these down here, this Paranormal Activity 3 and Dreamhouse, those are movies I've already downloaded. I used to have a lot more, but um, I deleted them all because I needed more room. My iPod was getting kind of full. I only have an 8 gig, so it's kind of pain in the butt. But if they have a check mark by them, that means that there's they have successfully downloaded and you can watch them. Um, and then up here, um, underneath your thing above it, it says what your file, what the movie file size is. That one's 422 MBs. And then it shows your percentage of um, how much is downloaded. It's downloaded 3% already. And it shows your time left at that download. And just to show you that these movies work, um, I'm just going to pause this for a minute so I can show you guys. Um, okay, so I'll just show you that this one works. Okay, so once you click your movie, this bar will come up. This, these tools, you want to click open. 
and then you got your actions right here. You can either watch the movie with the TV out. I don't like to do that. Um, and open is with the whole iPod as your TV, like the whole screen. And so I want to click open. And then see, the movie's playing right now. You do full size. See, there you go. It's playing right now. So that shows that it works. It works just like any YouTube video done or something. So, yeah, so you will just want to go back to downloads. And I just want to start this back up again. Zoom. Okay, so this will work for any iDevice, your iPod, iPad, or um, iPhone. Um, and you don't need the, you don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi to watch these movies. You can be anywhere to watch these movies. I will show you that it will work without Wi-Fi. That you can watch those. So I just want to. Disconnect from that. Now, now I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi, and it will. Um, I don't want to rate it right now. So it will bring up this. You won't get anything on this, but you want to go back to your downloads. See, your movies are still there. You still can do the same thing. Open, open, and see, still works. No Wi-Fi, no internet connected. See, there's no there's no cords in my iPod connecting to the computer or anything and the video still works so um yeah see it'll still work without the the Wi-Fi work just fine and the iPod movie the the website um for the iPad I know that the screen will be different the screen for the iPad will look like the screen off of a computer. It'll look like that screen. And so you're going to have to, and um, the register thing when you pop up, it will be on this side. And your tools, your tools on the iPad will be up here. It will be on top instead of bottom for the iPod. Um, just to let you guys know that, that the tools will be on top instead of on bottom for the iPad. Um, but everything should stay the same. It should work exactly the same. Um, I hope this video helps, and I hope that you now have most of your favorite videos or movies on your iPod or your yeah, iPod, iPhone. Um, so I hope this video helps, and if you have any problems, if something's not working, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can with a video response or anything that might help you. Um, so... Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and see you later.